everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 9 of Juji Ito Collection or Ito Juji Collection Anime, whatever you want to call it. So, with this episode, we have two weird stories, especially the second one. I was like, what the heck? But, um, the first one, though, is about this artist, and, well, he has famous paintings of this blonde girl, but then this black-haired girl named Tomoe, or Tomoe, or whatever her name is, comes along and says, oh, you should try painting me and my beauty and stuff, and that goes swimmingly a little bit for a bit, but she wasn't happy with the perfectly recreated painting of her. Um, I guess she wants her beauty to be, you know, permanent and everything in a painting, and I'm just like, okay, and then later we learn she went to this guy who does sculptures and he was able to recreate her beauty and the thing is though is that in a picture of her there was like she had this weird face thing going on and I was like oh, what <laughs> uh excuse me what kind of creature demon is she but um later on we learn that you know that he like kills the sculpture guy like with a bus she's like bam because he wants to see the sculpture he made but he destroyed them all um so then she goes to go back to that artist and he does another painting and it's a very disturbing painting it looks exactly nothing like her and i'm just like okay and then he proceeds to kill her and then she can reform. Yeah, that was creepy. Um, I'm just like, yeah, that's just, just disturbing and gross. And the little little bodies coming out of her, like, her arms and everything. I was like, ugh, ah, gross. But um, yeah, that first story was uh, something, all right? And the second one's about vampires. Um, yeah, so literally vampires, which I, it's weird, though, because, like, okay, the female, like, with her, like, I guess, husband, like, they get lost in the woods, right? And they go walking to, like, try and find, you know, something. And I'm just like, this voice actor for this female right now, she is so monotone and, like, so boring. I don't know if she's supposed to sound like that, but my goodness, I could not, like, care about their situation just because of her. She's like, oh, oh, what should we do, dear? Oh, where should we go? What do I do? Like, the most monotone voice ever, and I'm just like, oh... That's annoying. But anyway, they find this first village and there's these creepy kids who are, I guess, vampires because they make her bleed and they bite her and they also bit him. And then later on they go to this other village with blood stains everywhere. And then this creepy guy who lives there and I'm just like, you know, don't go into creepy people's houses. Just don't. Why are y'all stupid? But we learned that this guy had a woman he was interested in and she had this weird vine blood thing coming out of her and I don't know what that's about but yeah it was weird and I'm just like why is this happening right now and of course the same thing happens to Kana the woman who said I remember her name now who has that monotone voice like like she could not be more monotone it just I can hear it in my head and it bothers me so much but anyway ha same thing happens to her and apparently this guy has been trying to feed a little farm of blood and everything and I'm just like this is weird. This is really weird. What kind of vampire are you? Um, because he also bit, like, uh, and drunk the blood of, like, the woman who had, like, the white hair and the first little thing coming out of her neck. It's weird. Um, with the, like, the blood and the blah, blah, blah. It's weird. But they try to escape, and I guess they can't because if you drink the blood of the little thingies that come out at you, then you get addicted and you become a vampire. And that's exactly what Khan started doing, so I guess that's what the dude can start doing because the thing ended. I was like, well, that was weird. Um, at least the, I guess, vampire dude with the black hair was semi-attractive. That was nice. I was like, hey, he's kind of attractive. And I use the term attractive loosely because these characters aren't the bestly drawn characters ever. But overall, this episode was pretty interesting for the most part. So what would you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I view next. Bye!